well hopefully very enjoyable and, and, and one of our main aspects of our way of playing of our DNA is to play with a ball and play exciting football and creative with creative play so um, that will be the plan it's, um, it's sometimes hard to get that because obviously you come up against some really tough teams but that's our first idea um, particularly we want to work just as hard off the ball and we want to make sure that we're you know we're working hard to get the ball back and stop the opposition from from playing as well so um, if we get it right you will see some good exciting play but we've got to work hard to create that I think the last last couple of years the young, younger England sides have been extremely successful whether it be winning tournaments or, or getting through to finals and things like that so the success is there and it's great to see the young young kids doing so well and, and the setup in general working so um, I was fortunate enough to be part of a, a winning side in, in 2010 European Championships and, and hopefully the guys this year can go on and do the same. Uh, I think we're realistic enough to know that you know to go and win a, a, a tournament is incredibly difficult. There's lots of good countries out there, you know, Portugal, Spain, Germany, France, the name, but a few. There's some some countries that have got some really talented young players. Whenever you talk about tournament, it's a knockout competition, so you only need to have one bad game, a bad refereeing decision, a man sent off, a penalty going against you, and you're out. You're finished. So it's not like a 38-game Premier League season. Mm. Um, so knockout competitions are by default incredibly difficult to predict, um, but we've got some good players in the system. We've got some good players in that team, we've got a good set of co coaching staff, we've got home advantage, um, so let's see where we get to, but we've got a chance yet.